Okay, so let's see if you know enough math to solve this problem without using a calculator. So we have negative 5 minus 4 squared. Okay, so if you think you can do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But I think the real value of this video is I'm going to highlight a very, very common misunderstanding when it comes to simplifying expressions like this in math. Now, of course, I'll fully explain what I'm talking about in the video, but uh, let's first see if you can do this problem. All right, so once again, no calculators. We have negative 5 minus 4 squared. What is this equal to? Well, the correct solution is negative 21. All right, now, if you got that right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, oh, Mr. You Too Math Man, uh, I got this right. This is so easy. Well, it's still possible that you got the right answer, but uh, you may not really actually understand what to avoid when it comes to simplifying expressions like this. In other words, it's possible that you just got lucky on this problem. Now, of course, it's also pr uh, possible that you know exactly what you're doing. And if you didn't get the right answer at all, well, you definitely want to watch the rest of this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get into things right now. Okay, so first things first, uh, the first thing we need to do is consider the order of operations. Okay, now uh, hopefully you're familiar with this phrase. This is a PEMDAS. It is the correct order of operations. Remember in mathematics when we're adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, and taking powers, these are mathematical operations, and we need to know the correct order to do problems that have more than one operation in them. So in this particular problem, we have subtraction, and we are taking a power, right? So the order of operations, which is, of course, this, uh, well, we can remember it by this little phrase here, or this little acronym, PEMDAS, and it's just a checklist. We go from left to right. So P-E-M-D-A-S, there's a cute little phrase that goes with this that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Again, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'm not sure what Aunt Sally did, but we thank her for her cool little phrase. Okay, so just a quick review of PEMDAS. Again, we're going from left to right. So P is parentheses. We're going to do anything uh, when we see parentheses first or brackets uh, or these kind of brackets. We're basically talking about grouping symbols. So in this problem, we don't have any parentheses, so we'll move on to E. E stands for exponents or powers, right? So when you have a power like 2 to the third power, this part of the power here is called the exponent. So the E is basically powers next. Now the next thing is M and D. Now a lot of students confuse this. They think the M is multiplication and the D is division. That's what it stands for. MD stands for multiplication and division. A is addition and S is subtraction. So a lot of students think, oh, I must do multiplication, then division, then addition and subtraction in this uh, strict order. That's actually not the case. The M and D and A and S are groups, okay? You'll do multiplication, then division, whatever you see first from, uh, from left to right. So if you had division, then multiplication, you would do this, okay? Same thing with the uh, addition and subtraction. It's whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, so looking at this problem here, uh, uh, you know, this should be pretty straightforward, right? So a lot of you are like, okay, do I see any parentheses? No. Do I see any powers? Yes, right? So we're going to focus in on the power part right there for squared. So if you're thinking, yes, yes, Mr. U2 Math Man, that's what I did, but I still got the wrong answer. Well, it's probably because you made this error. All right, so here we are talking about uh, taking powers first. We just went over that. But before I show you this very common error, i like you to do something that hopefully is going to be very common for me, and that is people uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel. Okay, It has a tremendous positive impact on the growth of my channel, which, of course, that you know um, is really helping me reach my goal, which is to try to uh, teach as many people as possible mathematics, right? So if you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification button, I would be just like, you know, my, I would look like this, okay? So happy. Anyways, back to the problem. Okay, now before I show you this, this is the part of the problem where a lot of students will tend to make an error. Let's go ahead and take a look at that error right now. All right, so negative 5 minus 4 squared. So 
this right here, the power part is 4 squared. That's what we need to do, not negative 4 squared. Okay, And you might be surprised, but a lot of students think that this uh, subtraction sign is in front of this negative 4. Okay, that's just a common, uh, you know, misunderstanding, and it's easy to see that, right? Because I could look at this problem as negative 5 minus 4 squared or plus negative 4 squared, okay? So this right here, this negative 4 squared, when you're doing PEMDAS, the order of operations, you're not doing this negative, uh, the negative is the opposite of 4 squared, right? Let's just really uh, take a look at this a little bit further. So if I had negative 4 squared, and I'm doing the order of operations, this is the opposite of 4 squared. So 4 squared, of course, is 16. So the answer will be negative 16. It is not saying negative 4 squared, okay? If you were trying to take the square of negative 4, you would have to put that in parentheses, okay? So this is not, not, uh, not what we have here. You're not taking the square of negative 4, okay? And, you know, for me, I've been, uh, you know, teaching for decades and decades. And, you know, I probably created maybe 10 million homeworks, tests, quizzes, but not that many, but a lot. And you, you just see these common trends. So for whatever reason, students tend to confuse this. All right. So if you made this mistake, I'm glad you did. So we can kind of, uh, you know, uh, clarify exactly what to do here. Right. So we are taking four squared, not negative four squared. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the answer now. So negative um, uh, four squared, excuse me, let me kind of go back here, is what? Well, that's positive four times positive four, which of course is 16. So negative five minus four squared is going to be negative five minus 16. And now we are kind of home free to figure this out. So negative five minus 16. If you are up to speed on your positive and negative number rules. This is the same thing as negative five plus negative 16. Of course, negative five plus negative 16 is negative 21. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.